Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. Now it has been the longest time since I posted a video and there is a reason for that. I owe you a little bit of an explanation. Uh, the last video I posted I said that a big change was coming uh, and it was an, a, an exciting announcement. Uh, quite a few people thought I was opening a shop but that's not, not the case. Well, you know, not yet anyway. But in reality is uh, Mindy from Mindy's Coral Reef is here. Uh, and that has meant that I have had a lot less time than usual um, to obviously work on the videos and work on the mega build. So I've been focusing on things that I need to do. So I've got plenty more corals in. The coral trays are very full, full to the brim. But uh, I just I just didn't have time to, uh, to to obviously film these and edit these. So I so so yeah. So basically, uh, I thought I'd do uh, like a little update for you. Mindy might pop in. Uh, she's currently busy working on something, so uh, I don't know if she will or won't, uh, but I'm sure you'll see her at some point. So the reason I thought I'd show you today is because I did something a little bit uh, reckless, a little bit more reckless than what I would usually do. I have bought two boxes, two, of Acropora. Now, when, you, when I ordered these boxes, um, and they weren't cheap, they were like a lot of money. When I ordered these boxes, uh, you don't know what they are. They're, just ba they're basically like blind boxes. It just says 24 or um, I think it might be 24 or 22, uh, random Acropora selected by like the pickers on the other side. Now these are from Indonesia uh, and I believe they're from a, a, a very reputable company. So I thought I'd give it a go. So I got 22 of smaller pieces. I don't, well not smaller pieces, they're medium pieces. I don't know how big medium is, uh, although I have seen from other shippers. So I know, I got a rough idea. And I also bought six large pieces. Now I recognize the names on the boxes of some of the Acropora, which I'll show you now. Now I recognize the name of a lot of these Acropora uh, on the outside of the box, but I will be honest, most of them I have never kept. So um, I was hoping to get a selection of Millipora uh, and some Tenuous. Now obviously I've got some Tenuous, there's a couple there which are purple and rainbow, so I'll be interested to see what they look like. But I didn't, I only got one Millipora, which is a sunset, and that's what I had already. So that was, that's why this is a gamble. I don't, when you don't know what you're gonna get, uh, anything could turn up basically and that is exactly what's happened so I don't know what's in these boxes uh, I'm gonna open them now hopefully the gamble will pay off but in reality with Acropora you never know they could the whole box could be dead and there's no DOA policy so uh, I just got to uh, hope for the best and then what I have to do is try and make room in here somewhere and I will give you a little update on this system the although it looks like it's not running. I've, all I did was move it over to so that less lights are running. So I've got four running instead of six. And I will also give you an update of the corals because I have got a ton of corals in. Um, I started to experiment with some larger pieces that local people are now collecting, which is nice. And uh, and then I'll give you a little uh, I'll, I'll give you a little show of everything I've got in. Anyway, so best thing to do is is uh, get started with these box these uh, these acros. So let's get them open. Right now, the first thing I've noticed different about the packaging of this shipment from Indonesia is that uh, every shipment I've had previously from places like Australia, for example, uh, where I got a lot of the larger hammers in, uh, they, they've always used bubble wrap. And, uh, and the Australian shipment actually had, um, had ice packs in, which I thought was unusual, uh, considering obviously they're coming to England. But the reason that for the ice packs is obviously why they're actually in Australia. Now, Indonesia, appear, or this company at least, appears to use old newspapers, which to some extent is good because obviously it's more eco-friendly than, uh, than bubble wrap. Although the bubble wrap I have received previously, I then reuse in the packaging when I ship out. So, um, but yeah, so I can't actually wait anymore. So uh, let's have a look what's inside. I can always read the Indonesian news later. Right, so. Now, so this, these are the, the medium ones. Uh, wet piece of newspaper again. I'm assuming that was probably the ice. That was probably an ice pack. But it is interesting how different countries do different things. That was probably a frozen piece of ice, which is now melted, which is why it's now uh, just obviously a wet newspaper. I can't say that for sure. Someone else in the comment section might let me know. And the other thing I've no just noticed. I mean, there is quite a lot of water in this bag. So the other thing I've just noticed is that the bags are all wound with elastic bands, which are more unlikely, to, which are more likely to open than the ones I've had previously where they always use metal, they use metal clips. Now I'm not sure if there's meant to be this much water in there or if the bags on the bottom have opened. So far I haven't found any which are open, uh, but I should probably get these in the system quickly just to see uh, what conditions everything is, is in. Right now as you can see all those pieces are in uh, and I've opened the second box. Now these are the large Acropora. Uh, 
Uh, unfortunately, there's no millipore with these, but as you can see, they definitely aren't small pieces. There's a lot of water at the bottom of the bag again. Um, so I, I'm assuming the water's meant to be there, because again, none of these are burst. But uh, I can't even see what's in these. I wonder if it's unusual that they've got the, uh, the paper inside the, um, inside the packaging, because usually they only do that for fish. So for now, we, uh, we'll have to wait to see how big they are until, um, unless they're, are they all like that? Yeah, they're all like that. But you can just get a little glimmer and they are definitely not small pieces. So, but yeah, let me, let me get these in and, uh, and I'll show you them in a minute. Right now, although I know you, can't, you won't be able to see this very well because I've got, actually got coral glow on it, um, I had an idea with regards to the water in the bottom of the bag. I know I'm starting to become obsessed, but I want to know if my uh, ice pack theory is collect, uh, correct. So in theory, if it is an ice pack, the uh, salinity should be zero. So if we put that in there, I don't know if you can see it, but it's not zero. So um, that is quite unusual. I'm not sure why there would be ever so slightly salty water because the, uh, the salinity is 1.008. So, um, so yeah, if anyone, if anyone knows what that water in the bottom of the bag, <laughs> in the, in the, bottom of the bag is, let me know because uh, I am intrigued. Uh, the other reason I got this out is because I wanted to test the temperature of that water because in theory that water should be exactly the same temperature as the bags and I don't open the bags yet. So they are currently 22.4 degrees. The, uh, the water they're going into is 25.5. So um, it, I'll, I'll probably leave them for an hour just to, uh, to warm up and it gives me an opportunity to um, uh, start uh, setting up all the dipping process. So, but there are some really, really nice pieces in here, uh, and uh, I'm gonna have to uh, cut all the bottoms off them. But, um, but yeah. So let me go prepare, and uh, I will, uh, I'll show you them later. Right now, while all these are acclimating, there's two things that I need to do. First, I need to check my uh, KH. So um, we'll find out together. 8.1, not bad. Um, I'm definitely gonna significantly need to increase my. Uh, alkalinity dosing once these all have got in. Um, and the second thing we'll do is give you a little tour of what's in stock. Right now, the best way to start the tour is to turn all the MP40s off, uh, just because then you'll get a much clearer view of, of what's in the tanks. Uh, now, uh, that's, that's, that's one of the things I love about this system. Everything is so easy to, uh, to change or turn off if you need to. You can do it through the Mobius app, now, what I've done with the lights, for example, I put them onto the blue mode so everything pops like really nicely. And it literally took me about 20 seconds uh, to, to change it, just for, just for this, obviously, this video. Um, and then obviously I can put it back in, in a minute. So um, as you can see, let's we'll start here. We've got some nice Cephastria, uh, some Alien Pox Cephastria. We've got uh, a Leptastria. There's a little piece of further back that didn't do too well at the beginning, but it's, it's uh, starting to come back. Uh, this is the sun, Sunburst Montipore, I think, which I've actually got quite a lot of. It doesn't sell very well on the website purely because I can't get a very good picture of it because the polyps are so small and I need a really fancy camera, uh, which Mindy's got luckily, so that's, that's good. You can see that the Powder Blue, powder blue Tang is doing well still. Uh, and then obviously we've got a whole, I won't show you everything, but obviously we've got all the different Elkhorns, Forest Fire. We have uh, some nice Rainbow Montipora. The, uh, the, what I should show you is that the, or tell you, is that the tank is slightly cloudy. And the reason it's slightly cloudy is because the snails in every single one of these tanks had a big sex orgy earlier. And, um, or, or a sex party, I should say, you know, to be more you know, politically correct. They all put their keys in a, uh, in a bowl. But uh, what's interesting is every snail in all the tanks, uh, every snail in all the tanks spawns at the same time, even if they're in different tanks. So I've got these the other day, these are some really nice Gears. Uh, a few different mushrooms, I've got all different uh, clove polyps. The bounce mushrooms are doing really well still. There's my little jawbreaker, which has grown significantly uh, since you last saw it. Same as uh, the kryptonite there, is also growing pretty well. Um, for whatever reason, my furry green mushrooms have been just one massive mushroom for ages. And uh, yeah, there's a few, a few interesting pieces in here. And then obviously, Plenty of Xenia, which for some reason people keep buying, so I will keep growing it. 
Anyway, back to this system. What have we got in here? Uh, these acros are, as you can see, they're growing. They're still not the right color. They've been not the right color since the day they went in. Um, and uh, although they're sort of just on life support at the moment, so they're still, they're still alive they're, and they're still growing, but they're not the right color. Uh, and it's because, it's because the, uh, the radions are too dim at the moment. If I increase, if I increase, they're only running about, I think, 40 or 60%. If I increase the percentage, uh, it starts to cause an issue with, with the Montiporas. So um, until the other tanks is, uh, uh, until the other system is fully up and running, uh, at the moment the, they will just have to be, uh, have slightly less, less par. The par on this tank is I think is 180. Uh, my little pipe fish are still doing really well, which is good. You can see that uh, the, uh, there's a little value as well on the tank, which isn't usually there. But um, again, it's all about having enough time. So we've got some nice uh, Seasons Grease, I believe, some Satosa. Uh, these are all on the website. The, what, what are these? Free Care Pavona. It's hard to remember every single name for every single piece. Got some Gold Rush Montipora. We have some Milky Way Montipora. We've got some Mystic Sunset Montipora. Uh, a load more Sophastrias, some Lithophyllum. So these are the 24 karat uh, lithophilium. The uh, mine melts the other side. Um, we've got even more sophastrias, more, uh, obviously, more, plenty of SPS corals. Uh, some of these have recently fragged. Some of them were fragged a long time ago. Uh, and then we've got some Galaxia here and some Hollywood Steiner Chalice with some of the bigger pieces in the middle. One of the pieces I do want to show you Right, there's the Mind Melt Lithophyllum on the right, which is more orangey, although it doesn't pick up with the camera very well. And then obviously the 24K one next to it, which is more gold color. But this is the piece which I wanted to show you. I had to get my macro lens out to be able to show it to you properly. But uh, I don't know if you can see the colors are coming through the camera. But uh, this is a Rainbow Tenuous. And uh, it's, uh, it's one of my favorite pieces in at the moment. Uh, it's been doing really, really, really well. Uh, and uh, I've also had quite a few pieces of this sell on the website. The other thick pieces which are selling really well are, it seems to be any of the Milliporas. So I've got this one up as a gold Millipora, which is here, you can see it's, now these, this piece was only fragged just the other day. It's actually got a chunk missing out of it. I obviously nicked it with the saw. Um, but yeah, these, the, uh, some of the Milliporas, and they're, they're not, they're, obviously you can see they're quite good sized frags. And the other Millipora which is selling really well is this piece which is a uh, I've got down as a peach millipora so um so yeah they're uh, I'm just starting to uh, to get more and more SPS in and as you can see the the box that just came in I really like this piece this piece is doing so well it's uh, as I said I've shown it to you before this piece was basically dead when I first got it um, and uh, and as you can see is nicely based out. It is a grafted digi, uh, and uh, and yeah, hopefully I will be able to uh, sell sell this eventually. Although it doesn't seem to be the fastest grower, it seems to grow outwards rather than upwards. So it's not been the easiest piece to uh, to propagate. Anyway, I'll give you a very quick look at the tray at the bottom. Right now, as you can see, the bottom tray is predominantly LPS corals. There is a reason for that. It's because the uh, the radions are set slightly lower in the bottom tray and the top there about. The par here is about 150. Uh, I have a little bit inside knowledge for you. Every so often I frag corals and they either don't do well or whatever. This is like a little recovery corner. So this is where I put the, the sick corals. Uh, I like to keep them all together away from each other and the, although they're very near the MP40, uh, there's not actually a lot of flow right there. So um, this is where I leave them to recover. As you can see, I've got more Hollywood Star, uh, yeah, Hollywood Star Chalice. Uh, which actually came from one of my followers. Uh, I've got a few different nice favias. Uh, I've got mushrooms, the recorders that everyone wants. Uh, I've got one little one, which is just, uh, which has uh, popped off. So uh, that one will eventually, well, at some point be on the website. Uh, the uh, the balanced mushroom, which I've become well known for, because obviously I've got quite a few of them. We've got some Duncan's coral, some candy canes and blastomusas. We've got, uh, some more chalice, which is doing uh, really well at the moment. Uh, this piece I've been growing for about seven or eight years. Uh, I think that um, the mummy eye chalice. And then I've got my little zoas uh, garden, which everyone keeps, I get messages almost every day saying, when you get into zoas. Uh, 
it's uh, it just takes time. It just takes time, but I'm getting there. And then around here, we've got my Euphilia garden, which is looking amazing. Um, and then uh, I've got quite a few new ones in at the back. This was a uh, recent import from Australia and uh, going around here. Now the bigger pieces at the moment are collection only uh, because I just don't have the, uh, the expertise in shipping larger pieces. When it comes to shipping small pieces, uh, like obviously single frags, uh, I have done a lot of experiments with and, uh, and I have an incredibly low uh, death rate. Now I've been incredibly lucky and someone might correct me but I can't think of a time where the coral has died because of my uh, shipping methods. They ha I have had it where they've uh, been not in the best condition because they've arrived a day late. Uh, but generally speaking, they are. Um, they uh, I haven't had any issues with regards to uh, corals dying. Uh, I've obviously had these war corals for a little while. Uh, as I said before, I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry to, to to get corals in and ship them out as quickly as possible. I like to get them in, rest them. You can see that some of the corals are literally growing onto the frag wreck. Um, and then this section here is from a company called Signature Frags. Now, uh, it's, uh, I wanted to give them a little shout out because there is a little bit of animosity between shops and online sellers. Uh, however, the online sellers appear to uh, have a pretty friendly relationship and I sell them coral, they sell me coral, and um, it appears to work really well. So these are all um, pieces which eventually I'll grow out. Obviously it takes time. Uh, I got another little Frank which I absolutely love. It's, um, as I said, I am 100% a bounce mushroom man. I don't know if I can get it for you. Yeah, I really, uh, I have a, uh, a thing for, uh, for bounce mushrooms. It looked better before, before I picked up. There you go. Look at, look at that, that pink on there. So, uh, so yeah. But I think that is pretty much it. I'm now go back to putting the acropora in and, uh, and then we'll, we'll uh, I'll go from there. And I'll now, whenever importing corals, there is always a risk that um, one of the corals might not make it or, or even the whole box might not make it. Now, in this shipment so far, most of them have been good. But this one, which is just the bag, you can see the water is, uh, is pretty brown. Uh, it, that, that bag was for this piece here. Now, if I turn the camera around, now this is one of the pieces which I would call like an emergency piece because what's happened is at some point in the bag it's flipped over and half of it along here uh, was exposed and then the rest of it was uh, obviously in the water. Now that's probably why the water's brown. It smells awful. So I don't have very high hopes for this piece. But as I said, that is all part of, um, it's all part of importing corals. So um, it's, uh, it's just one of those things, basically. It's just, uh, it's just unfortunate. Uh, and it's, it really is simply as something, literally like where a coral can be, it's meant to be in the bag this way, and all of a sudden it gets in the bag this way, and then that's enough for it to, uh, to kill the coral, unfortunately. So um, hopefully, I'll see what I can do to bring it back. Uh, I'll give it an iodine dip and, and a few things like that, but uh, I suspect that this one probably won't survive. Right now, this is obviously the emergency piece from earlier. So what I've done is I put in in a very mild iodine dip. Uh, it's a real shame. I actually think that this is could potentially be a strawberry shortcake. There was meant to be one in the box, and I haven't um, I haven't seen it yet. Although I haven't got them all out yet. Um, and uh, I'm going to cut off the base and any of the uh, the dead bits now, uh, which you can see some of it's clearly dead. And uh, and then hope for the best. So, although as I said, I haven't got high hopes for this one, but you never know, sometimes they recover. So I literally will just cut straight off through the bottom. And then I will give you an update. As I said, it doesn't need to be neat. Uh, I will give you an update with this piece, uh, obviously in the next video. And, uh, and hopefully, I might do a bit more cutting there, uh, but hopefully it makes it, but as I said, I haven't got high hopes, so. Right, now I made some promises at the start of this video. I said that I would show you the new Acropora in the tank. Um, I said that I would give you an update on System 2 over there. And I said that there's a possibility which Mindy might turn up. Uh, unfortunately, you're not getting any of those things today. Uh, what I didn't realize when I started filming this was just how long this video was gonna be. So this will be an end of part one for the mystery box. And, um, and obviously, uh, I will give you part two in the next video. So um, I hope you enjoy watching the video. It's, 
It feels like such a long time since I've said this that I'm not even sure I remember how it goes. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching the video. Please feel free to comment below uh, if you have any questions. Uh, if you did enjoy it, why not click that like and subscribe button? Have a good week, and I'll see you next time.